everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and it is Monday evening. And I like to look at the things that are coming up for the week. I tend to prepare ahead. And sometimes I do that because I want to get myself excited or motivated because I maybe see something that I think will be really, really, really good. And sometimes that keeps me patient. A lot of day traders have a problem with patience. They want to do something right this second. They jump into trains, they don't work out, they lose, and then they're chasing their tails all day long. I like to just let the market give it to me. So I'm looking here at Oracle. What do I see? Well, the stock actually gapped down on Friday with the market. That was normal. I mean, everything on the planet did that. Today it actually gapped down. Interesting, though, because the market gapped down. Let me just see here. It closed at 32.21. Well, no. This is like neutral. I'm not, I'm not going to count this as a gap down. This is a neutral. So, so Oracle was neutral today in the gap. Open, rallied, fell, set the low of the day by 10 o'clock, and then a rally. Close in Oracle today was, this isn't accurate here. This is the post market. Close in Oracle today. was 37.65. So this this isn't right here. This is a little kick or something. It actually closed up here. You see where this bar is? I know it, this is weird looking, but the fact is it closed at 37.65. So pretend this isn't here. It actually closed up here. This is like the post market or whatever. It's this this isn't real. Anyways, it was up around here. So my call for Oracle, the earnings are out on this Wednesday evening is that Oracle gaps up. Gaps up on the earnings. Could gap up to $40. If Oracle gaps up to $40, targets $40.50, but really $41. And so we'll see what happens. Oracle's actually in an uptrend currently. And there is some economic data that's coming out with a Fed announcement on Wednesday, right before Oracle earnings. Could that timing be more perfect? I don't think so. So I'm looking for a positive move in the market with the Fed announcement Wednesday afternoon, and I'm looking for a positive move in Oracle up in the earnings on Wednesday evening. So we'll see what it does. For those of you that are interested in my prediction for Oracle, my prediction is it gaps up. However, what if it gaps down? You could rate it as a golden gap and look to short it if it rates 20 points or more. I think the interesting thing about Oracle, and I... I don't say this about hardly anything, anything at all, but every once in a blue moon, I look at a stock pre-earnings announcement, and I can say to myself with 100% conviction that if it gaps up, it's a good long, and if it gaps down, it's a good short. That is very, very rare, and don't, don't even think that that's the right thing to think at all about anything, but Oracle is one of these weird, weird, weird charts, and it's a market stock, and I'll tell you right now, if this gaps down on Thursday, I'll be rating it. And if it rates 20 points or more, I'll short it. But if it gaps up, the target's 40 and then rally a dollar. And, and it's a good long. So we'll have to see what happens on the earnings on Wednesday night. Either way, Oracle will be in play on Thursday on the live trading day for everyone that day trades. Have a great night, everyone. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. Watch Oracle. My prediction is that it gaps up. However, I'm telling you right now, if it gaps down, I will be all over this thing on Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.